Peace be with you. Hello, everyone. I'm overjoyed to share an important invitation with all of you, and that is to sincerely invite you to journey with us during Holy Week as we make our way to Easter Sunday. This week, just about to begin, is the holiest week of the year for us as Christians. It begins with the celebration of Palm Sunday, in which we commemorate our Lord's triumphal entry into Jerusalem amid the waving of palm branches and the singing of Hosanna. After three days of preparation, the week continues with Holy Thursday, the night in which Jesus gathered with his apostles in the upper room to celebrate the Passover meal and on which he would wash the feet of the disciples as a sign of their vocation to service in the church. On this night, Jesus gave us two great sacraments, the Holy Eucharist, which is celebrated every day except one, Good Friday, and the ministerial priesthood, ordaining the first priest to do as he did, to offer bread and wine, which we believe as Catholics becomes Christ's body and blood. On Good Friday, the church gathers with a solemn and somber spirit to commemorate the Lord's passion and death, which he endured for our sake on Calvary. The reading of the Passion of St. John, joined with prayers and the reception of Holy Communion that was consecrated the night before, comprise our Good Friday services. The congregation returns to their homes in silence to ponder the meaning of the Lord's suffering and death. On Saturday, Holy Saturday, the church waits in silence as if at the tomb of Jesus, but at nightfall gathers in darkness to welcome the light of Christ. At the Easter Vigil, the church's most solemn celebration, the church blesses the Easter fire, which dispels the darkness of the night and sings the Easter proclamation. We read from numerous scriptural texts foretelling the mysteries of our faith. We welcome new members by baptism or by the profession of faith, then celebrate confirmation and finally with great exultation, share together in the Paschal banquet rejoicing that he who once was dead has been raised. This is a liturgy everyone is encouraged to attend and should attend at least once in their lifetime. Easter Sunday continues the church's great celebration of new life in Christ. She will continue to rejoice in this most central of all mysteries for the entire Easter season, which is 50 days, rejoicing that witnesses have seen, heard, and even touched him who once was dead and now lives forever. My brothers and sisters, how important it is that we set aside time in this Holy Week to be present in our parish churches, to relive those great events of our salvation. I invite you to do just that. Please join us if you can and let your faith be renewed and your hope in the resurrection be strengthened. God bless you one and all and welcome to Holy Week 2022.